沙被缠绕，请清理。Robotic vacuum cleaners are having a lot of problems and making customers angry. Some brands from China can't even clean basic stains. This is the robotic vacuum cleaner I bought for 3,000 yuan. After self-cleaning, it's still so dirty inside. It's currently cleaning, but the trash remains even after it's done. This is the floor it just cleaned. Here's trash, and here's more trash. It can't suck it up. The trash is still on the floor, and the hair hasn't been cleaned up either. And this is it going back to self-clean. When it returns, there's a slope here, and all the trash it's supposed to clean up just falls onto the slope. You have to clean it manually. It's really just a waste of money. The closing of this year's Double Eleven Shopping Festival in China marked a departure from previous years, as official media did not prominently feature the significant drop in sales figures. Notably absent from the sales performance of major platforms during Double Eleven were the once popular robotic vacuum cleaners. Ecovacs and Roborock, two major manufacturers of these robots in mainland China, did not release performance reports, contrasting sharply with the previous two Double Eleven festivals, where transaction amounts and growth rates were publicly highlighted. In recent years, robotic vacuum cleaners designed to replace traditional brooms and vacuum cleaners have seen improvements in their fundamental functionalities, such as suction, self-cleaning, and dust collection. From 2020 to 2023, these robots, marketed for their ability to free lazy hands and enhanced features, have become increasingly expensive. The industry's average price of a robotic vacuum cleaner rose from 1,435 yuan to 2,812 yuan, while the market size expanded from 5.6 billion yuan to 10.8 billion yuan. However, despite expectations of rapid growth due to the lazy economy during the pandemic, the market for these robots has recently hit the brakes. In 2022, sales of robotic vacuum cleaners fell by 24%, returning to levels seen back in 2017. Ecovacs, a major manufacturer, reported a drastic 92% drop in net profits in its last quarterly earnings, with its stock price also declining. As of November 13th, the closing stock price was 46.94 yuan per share, with a market value of 26.5 billion yuan, a significant decrease from its peak two years ago. If measured from the beginning of this year, the stock has already fallen by more than 35%. Roborock, another leading company, experienced an 80% decrease in stock price compared to its peak. As of November 13th, its closing price was 298.40 yuan per share, with a market value of 39 billion yuan. Industry experts anticipate that in 2023, the sector's sales volume may shrink by about 30% compared to last year. Liang Jie, a smart home appliance entrepreneur, attributes the decline appeal of robotic vacuums to their complexity. This poses a challenge for middle-aged and older consumers who are not as tech-savvy, thus limiting their market reach. Furthermore, the downturn in sales is also linked to rising product prices and a weaker consumer market. In response to the shrinking market and falling sales, manufacturers of robotic vacuum cleaners have been forced to reduce prices to attract consumers. This trend started in August 2022, with Ecovacs leading the way, followed by other manufacturers like Xiaomi. By 2023, the average price of high-end models in the industry had dropped from 5,076 yuan to 4,084 yuan. However, this pricing strategy has led to accusations of price fraud among the manufacturers. Amidst the sales decline, mainland Chinese netizens who have used these robotic vacuum cleaners are sharing their perspectives. Some cite quality issues as a reason for poor sales, while others believe the technology is not sufficiently advanced and find the robots cumbersome to use, preferring manual cleaning methods. For them, purchasing these robots is now seen as an unnecessary expense. Brothers and sisters, the Yunjun Intelligent Robotic Vacuum Cleaner is the fighter jet of trash. For four or five thousand yuan, it's just scamming the public with a stupidity tax. What you get is a plastic shell that's not even worth scrap metal. Repairing it once costs up to seven or eight hundred yuan. 
Before repairing, the customer service sends you a list of parts with prices. I look through it. Each part costs about 30 or 40 yuan. I thought the repair wouldn't cost much, but after sending it back and forth, which cost me 100 yuan, the repair ended up costing me more than 800 yuan. It means the vacuum needed over a dozen parts replaced for one repair. So if I repair it three times, wouldn't that cost as much as buying a new one? It's truly the king of trash. Yunjin has released three generations of these vacuum cleaners. Everyone must avoid this pitfall. If you still buy it after watching my video, there is definitely something wrong with you. At first, it couldn't climb slopes or cross thresholds, then it couldn't map or return to the base station, and later, even a small piece of trash could jam it, making it unusable. I have recorded videos of these issues. Even after spending over 800 yuan on repairs, it still has problems and can't map. If it can't map, you can't command it to clean, making it just a decoration, only fit for display, not for work. I would advise everyone not to buy a robotic vacuum cleaner. It's only suitable for extremely lazy people who have low cleanliness standards. Its cleaning effectiveness is really not up to par. It can't even properly clean the everyday mess in a house. In my 130 meter square home, it needs to recharge before it can finish cleaning. And it needs to be at maximum suction power, which is much cleaner, but the noise is incredibly loud. Tencent user 167767 expressed dissatisfaction with their 4,000 plus yuan robotic vacuum cleaner, finding it ineffective and cumbersome to use as it required moving chairs and other items around. It proved to be more hassle than manually mopping the floor. Meanwhile, the quality of robotic vacuum cleaners has become a focal point of discussion among consumers, with many deciding against future purchases due to quality concerns. The Ecovax robotic vacuum cleaner is just a stupidity tax. I tried it for a while, and it showed low battery and needed to go to the base station to recharge. The base station was right beside it, but it just kept going in circles and couldn't get in. I contacted customer service, and they didn't know what was wrong either. I started using it on September 4th. After the first use, it showed that the cleaning water tank was full. After the next few days, I tried various methods I found online to fix it but had no success. I then contacted Ecovax customer service and they recommended a repair person to me. He told me how to fix it, like using a cotton swab to clean the water suction and using chopsticks for the drain. It worked yesterday morning, but in the afternoon when I used it again, it broke. I only used it for six days and it only cleaned successfully once. The rest of the time, it showed there were problems with the machine. I think there's definitely something wrong with this product. When I was searching for repair methods online, I found many users had the same issues as me. Miss Wong from Shanghai experienced frequent issues with her newly purchased robotic vacuum cleaner within just six days, leading her to question the product's reliability. Recent inspections by the Shanghai Market Supervision Administration revealed a 20% failure rate in the equality of robotic vacuum cleaners. The Jiangsu Defective Product Management Center also released a report on the safety and quality of these devices, showing that 11 out of 25 tested models from mainstream brands were deemed substandard. Concerningly, two high-end models priced over 3,000 yuan also failed the tests. The most common quality issues in these substandard products related to significant safety hazards. These include excessive residual voltage in plugs after power disconnection, risk of falling from heights, and components igniting after high temperature tests. This poses serious safety risks to consumers. In fact, complaints about the quality of these robotic vacuum cleaners are frequent on social media. For instance, consumers have criticized Ecovac's model as being all show and no go, with poor cleaning performance akin to a tax on intelligence. During the June 18th sales period this year, many complaints were related to quality issues, with reports of Ecovax cleaners malfunctioning frequently, such as missing spots in 7 out of 14 uses and shutting down after using only half of the battery. These numerous complaints have rapidly deteriorated the reputation of robotic vacuum cleaners. Ecovax, once praised within China as a leading brand in service robots, is now facing criticism for poor product quality and user experience, raising concerns about the quality and performance of other brands ranked behind them. Beyond issues of quality and user experience, price protection and after-sales service have also been points of contention for consumers. Following Double Eleven, Ecovacs faced collective complaints from consumers. 
Many accused Ecovax and other brands of price fraud with inconsistent pricing during the double eleven period and failure to honor promised price protection services, leading to consumer rights violations. Ms. Yang from Jiangsu reported to the media that during the first wave of double eleven promotions, she purchased a T10 robotic vacuum cleaner from Ecovax official store for about 3,100 yuan. A few days later, she obtained a coupon during the second wave of promotions, which would have saved her 500 yuan on the same model. Miss Young said, After getting the coupon, I consulted customer service who confirmed price protection and agreed to refund the difference based on the coupon price. However, when she requested a refund for the price difference after receiving the product, customer service refused, citing the product was already at a promotional price. Many netizens have complained about the after-sales service for these devices, as numerous manufacturers refuse to replace or refund poorly functioning products, only offering repairs. Several consumers reported their robotic vacuum cleaners frequently malfunctioning within months or even days of purchase, with the same issues recurring even after repairs. Some customer service representatives blatantly told customers this issue can't be fixed. The declining quality of Chinese-made robotic vacuum cleaners is not entirely surprising, as evident from widely shared online videos showcasing online shopping fails, indicating the prevalence of substandard products both in domestic and international markets. My dad bought a high-pressure water gun to spray the store. Let me show you the effect. The actual product is so different from the picture. It's just like this. Terrible. Look at this little guy in our house. Look, it's bowing its head. What are these things? It's the new year and you're just having a blast. I'm recording this on video. The quality is so bad. Exported products also cannot escape the shoddy manufacturing often associated with Made in China. I beg you, stop selling these terrible Chinese products to Vietnam. Why do I say this? We buy these faucets in Vietnam. Look, with normal use, they all leak after a few months, all of them, even with normal adjustments. So I advise those selling in Vietnam not to import these junk products from China anymore. People don't trust you because you're selling these inferior goods to the Vietnamese. They don't like these things. I advise you not to ruin your reputation. When doing business in Vietnam, you must sell quality goods, understand? Even Russia, considered an ally by the Chinese Communist Party, has openly criticized the quality of Chinese automobiles as inadequate. Apart from product and technology issues, China's economic condition has also indirectly contributed to the decline in sales of robotic vacuum cleaners. The Chinese government, which once heavily promoted Made in China, Chinese technology, and the rise of the Chinese economy, is now struggling with the harsh realities of its economy. In a situation characterized by high living costs, low income, and the looming threat of unemployment, spending a month's salary of 3 to 5,000 yuan on a robotic vacuum cleaner is impractical for most people. This impracticality is compounded by the fact that these products do not fully address cleaning needs, coupled with poor product quality and after-sales service making them an unwise purchase. Consequently, more consumers are opting to wait or even forego buying such products, leading to an evident decline in sales in this category. Some netizens have offered deeper insights into the declining sales of robotic vacuum cleaners. A user named Jack Lyon commented that the success of these products is not an isolated issue. In a sluggish real estate market, demand for such devices is bound to be affected. This user also noted that the effectiveness of these cleaners is related to the type and size of the house. They work well in larger homes over 100 square meters, but are less effective in smaller, more intricate spaces. Therefore, the decline in sales of robotic vacuum cleaners can be seen as a downstream impact of the cooling real estate market. Since the steep decline in the real estate industry in 2021, the entire upstream and downstream supply chain has been affected, with the chill spreading to every industry related to real estate. Previously, new homeowners often considered robotic vacuum cleaners a standard home appliance. 
However, currently, reduced consumer purchasing power has led to a significant decrease in the demand for new housing. The crisis in the industry has caused widespread panic among current homeowners, leading to an increasing number of properties being sold off. The problem of unfinished housing projects has further exacerbated the difficulties in the real estate industry, and with the decline in housing, the need for items like robotic vacuum cleaners naturally diminishes.